Te shalom, shalom. Kom yes allo. Kohlo yula yahu ba shimia washai ba shim kaha kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh ba shimia washai to the to the best of their ability. Shachna nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, this is a short, basically, the Apostle Tahar, he done a video and he put in um, uh, don't follow these animals or something to that extent. Um, I'm not sure how he named it. So, you know, you clicked on the link because he didn't have the, the actual video plan because, of course, we can't get, you know, those those thing things, you know, the strike one, strike one, two, three, you're out, you know. And we don't want that. So we, you know, you, have, you know, the Apostle was just being wise by just posting his title giving you the link and having you go to the link so i'm at the link now i got past the portion of the video because i don't want this to seem as if it's something you know um you know uh pushing any type of tussling or pushing any type of you know um scrabbles or squabbles or nothing like that but it is a short that's on youtube so it should be able to be played but when it comes to us Hebrew Israelites and we start to do things and we say things about it and we bring our scriptures around it They kind of look at us like, you know, oh, you're inciting, you know You're inciting squabbles, which we're not this is educational for educational purposes only And I got another video that I want to play as well Where, um, you know, you young Jake, I know, you know, I'm a little bit older So, and, and you know, I even still deal <laughs> Out here, you know, in the world, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, you're dealing with a woman But you don't want to be running across nobody like this chick right here that I'm about to show. And there's going to be another one that I'm about to show. You don't want to be dealing like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be, a hey, pay attention, use wisdom. Matter of fact, you can actually, how about Shimmy, I was shot, man. You can cast a lot. Like, Lord, what you think on this here? And it ain't about what the Lord think. Salakia, you should be asking, Lord, what's up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's up? But if you seeing these types of um, attributes being exhibited, man, leave these chicks alone. Cause look how rough. This 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 is the rough. I'm I'm, I'm look I'm, I'm that nigga. But you know, pretty as shit. Until they open their mouth and you see that this a nigga that you dealing with. You know, you you be wondering like, uh, are you a, a transmission? You ain't one of those Decepticons, are you? You know. But let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Look at how she look at how she's acting. Yeah. Yeah. And look at the nigga right there with the purse on his shoulder. This is our people, man. This is our people. This is the Israelites, man. The top tribe of the Israelites. Judites, man. Judah. Yahweh. This is what's being pushed and portrayed upon our people. You got hard ass women and soft ass dudes. <clears throat> right? But like I said, I didn't want to play it from the beginning. You know, of course, there was, you know, a blow thrown, so to speak. But this is for educational purposes again, like I said. And look at her, though. She's there with her hair braided. She got the big-ass eyelashes on. She looks like a, a, a woman. You know what I'm saying? But she thug as hell. Let's get the rest. Let's Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. But look how pretty she is. You know? You know, cutie, but she got the attitude of a nigga with a drug sale that just went wrong on the block, fighting for a corner, man, straight up. So I ain't gonna go no, no further into it. You know, I'm sure um, if you brothers have seen um, the apostle, he he put it up, he put the link in, and this is where I got with it. And I just started it after the fact of what she actually really done. Then she yeah yeah like some nigga who dealing with. Bro, Lee chicks like this. Don't even bother with them, man. Find you a humble little little chick, man. Find you a humble little mama. And you can tell. you It's not hard to dis distinguish this thing. You can tell the ones that you know what I'm saying that's into this, this shit and the ones that's not. Now, don't get me wrong. It's even the ones that don't seem to be like this, you know what I'm saying, could be a little buck wild. But you just got to use wisdom, man. You got to just use... 
you know, <laughs> go back to the natural beauty thing. I'll put it that way. Go back to the natural, natural beauty, man. Go back to where before they was getting their eyebrows arched and they fucking and putting on these goddamn feather dusters and all this goddamn makeup. Look at the natural beauty in, 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 in a woman, you know, from the inside, you know, that humbleness. You could tell, you'll be able to tell. You know, once you go off into these scriptures and get into this word, you'll be able to tell. Anyway, okay, so now let's go on to the next. Let's get this other video, this next video. Okay, now this is from this channel. I'm not sure if her name is Riva or Riva TV. And she, you know, she has some pretty decent comment. I mean, um, content. She goes off and, you know, I'm not sure what she would be like as far as a woman or, you know, hey, what her relationship would be like. But I know that when she's sitting there and she's doing her thing, she's actually really going in on women and the so-called black woman in general, you know, and, you know, she points out things where they go on the fuck off, which is, you know, hey, it is what it is. I'm not sure who her channel was actually geared towards. It could be geared towards women. I'm sure she has a lot of men that actually watch the channel. You know, she's a nice looking lady. She's not a bad looking lady at all. She's really actually kind of cute. But I mean, she goes in on women like the title for this one right here. Um, it says this is the type of women men should avoid. So she's letting you know the type of women to avoid. Now, check this out. And this for educational purposes only. I don't want to, you know, get no copyright um, thing on here. But I just wanted to play the portion of the video. Let me cue it. Let me see. Okay, so here we go. He's me cooking for my boyfriend. She'll be like, oh, you're not going to... I'm like, absolutely not. I'm not going to serve him. Sometimes when I feel like serving him, I will. But for the most part, if I cook, you guys believe I'm like eating while telling him, yo, the food's ready. Because oh we ain't doing this. And I grew up strong with a strong ass attitude because I refused to be anything like my mom was when, my, when, when she was with my dad. Absolutely not. So there you have it. So what she's saying is... You know, one, you know, her homegirl was basically asking her, like, yo, you're not going to serve your man. Now, her homegirl could be looking at this nigga like, hey, look, sh that bitch, man, sh <laughs> trust me, I'll treat you. Because, hey, you women has got, and that's the reason why everybody should be on their own thing as far as, like, you know, um, keeping se um, re relationships separately. Another woman shouldn't be sitting up around another woman's man. Another man shouldn't be sitting up around another um, brother's woman. You know what I'm saying? Sitting out in the company of a woman. You know, you don't want to do that because it could, you know, cause, you know, confusion or whatever, whatever. So you best believe if this woman is asking her, you're not going to serve your man. She probably looking at him like I'll serve his ass. And she'll give him that look like, look, shh. actually give him that talk like, hey, look, <laughs> that bitch don't deserve you. I'll chop it up for you. I'll do this for you. I'll rub your feet. I'll put that lotion on you, nigga. I'll do this, that and the third. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of women are like that. That's why you have a lot of drama and, and, and shit going on on Facebook Live and these motherfuckers out here acting on the goddamn fool. But anyway, the point that I wanted to get is look at how she's acting. She, I'm not going to serve my man. I'm sitting there and I'm eating my shit while I'm at, yo, you know, with that manly ass masculine shit. Yo, the food is ready. I'm already eating. You know, you just eating out the pot. You ain't even made a plate. You, you Your plate is out the pot. Nigga got to come in and just dig out of the pot that you already eaten out of to make this plate. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, you have to really realize <laughs> what day and time that we're in. These are the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And you can't help it. You can't get around it. There's no escaping it. This just is what it is. If you're with a nice woman and you can deal, you know, and she's dealing with you and you're in this truth, man, just deal, bro. Just deal. You know what I'm saying? Because the apostle um talked about that. Let's get that real quick. Okay, it's so lucky. Let's get it in uh, 1 Corinthians 7, verse 10. Let's start there. Let me see. Yeah, let me start here at verse 10. It says, And unto the married I command ye not I, but the Lord. Let not the wife depart from her husband. But and if she depart, let her remain unmarried, or be reconciled to her husband, and let not the husband put away his wife. But to the rest speak I, not the Lord, if any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with them, let him not put her away. If she's pleased to dwell with you, you know, don't put her away. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is, you know. You you doing what you're doing. You you're serving the Lord, you're doing the lessons, you you know, you're you know, 
keeping a dietary law in the house, you, you know, you're trying to keep the household, you know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of the times, you know, it can cause some friction because if, they, if people that's not into this truth, they don't want to hear it. And it's hard for them to grasp because they're carnal. Because when you're coming to this truth and you're into these scriptures and you're trying to keep them to the best of your ability, then, you know, you're in the spirit. And the spirit, you know, is always contrary to the, uh, to the, uh, you know, um, the spirit and the carnal flesh. They, they're back and forth all day long scrapping, basically. And that's pretty much what it is. It just is what it is. You can't get around it. The spirit is not going to agree with the carnal, and the carnal flesh is not going to agree with the spirit. It just is what it is, man. It says, but if the unbeliever, but if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or sister is not under bondage in such cases, but Yahweh hath called us to peace. So if they want to leave, you come into this truth, and they want to bounce, let them bounce. That's on them from there. You know what I'm saying? You ain't push them away. You didn't. You know, pull them away. You didn't, you know, you just came into this truth. And when you came into this truth, it is what it is. And no one comes above this truth. Not your children, not your grandmother, not your grandfather, not your mama that you've been close with all your life, your homegirl I grew up with. We, we, we done been, we went to school, elementary, high school, college, and, and after college and whatever the fuck. No, hey, look, don't let nobody come in between you and Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. But when it comes down to these women, this is the situation that we're dealing with. You know, this is the situation that we're dealing with. We are dealing with the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And this goes back to, matter of fact, let's get this. What's that? Uh, what's that? Second Timothy 2. Was that first Timothy? Salakia. 2011 it says let the woman learn in silence with all subjection but i suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man but to be in silence and that's pretty much what's going on out here the so-called white man he understands our laws he understands them better than we do in a lot of cases satan quoted laws statutes and commandments to our lord yahweh shy in the wilderness he they understand so his physical counterpart, which is the so-called white man, he understands to keep us in sin by keeping us away from what we're supposed to do. So he pushes things on us that we're not supposed to do. He knows our women shouldn't be over us as men, but that's what he done. He presented to the woman, a hey, look, the nigga woman, he present, pre presented to her like, hey, look, I'll, I'll take care of you. I'm gonna give you food stamps. I'm gonna give you Medicaid. I'm gonna give you housing, all this stuff for free. You just don't allow that man to come into that house. This is my situation and your situation. If you allow that man to come into the house, I'm going to shut all your shit down. So guess what the woman do? Oh, uh, no, nah, no, nah, nigga. I don't need no man. You ain't about to fuck this up for me and Massa. You know? Now, nah, Jake is, is cunning. And Jake is a supplanter. Because Jake been using that shit. Because the so-called black woman, she'll still allow that nigga to sneak off in there and slip off in there. Hell, Jake will actually tell her, hey, look, we'll go ahead and get that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, I can chill over here with my homeboy, you know, and, and I'll slide through and I got cash. You just hold down the crib. You got the food. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because Jake is a supplanter. That's the name of Jacob. Jacob goes into supplanter in, in the Hebrew, man. And we're going to supplant this whole situation. So we don't give a shit. But, you know, hey, we're going to do what we got to do until we get out of here. The, the scriptures talks about using the world and not abusing it, you know, but. It says, for Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. See that? So, A, this whole situation is a, it's a fight, man, that, that we have as far as like as a, as a people. And the Lord is dealing with us on, on a level of the first covenant is over with. The new covenant is to come. But he's dealing with us during this, this, this period of grace. And we have to grasp on, man, and, 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 and cling on to him and go ahead and, and accept what he's, he's he, you know, he what he has for us as far as our Lord, Yahweh Shai, that he sent to shed his blood for our sins. Because we're a sinful nation, stiff neck, hard headed as fuck. And the Lord is like, you know, hey. But the Lord is coming, you know, he's sending his son, man. And we, we're, we're about to be up out of here. And so this situation with our women, that's not going to be in the kingdom. Our women are not going to be on, on, on the tip that they're on right now in this, in this kingdom. And they don't have no choice but to do what they're doing because it's prophetic. Matter of fact, what's that? Uh, 
the scripture where it talks about a woman shall compass a man, but that shit is dwindling now. Uh, Slakia. It's in Isaiah. No, Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long would thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord, Yahweh, hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And that's what's going on. That's what we're witnessing. We're witnessing the compassing of a man. It's done happen. That phase is about phasing out. Because the so-called white man, his kingdom is falling. And because he set the so-called black woman up with his kingdom, she's falling as he falls. So now you're starting to see a lot of these videos. As a matter of fact, it was a brother. He had the video up um, of the so-called black woman. And she's begging for a so-called white man to come and help her out. Because the so-called black man, he's not taking care of his the black women. You know, that bullshit. But what they don't understand is you've allowed the so-called white man to push you in this and push you to the point of you. Now you're in need of a man and they don't want nothing to do with you because they know that it's nothing but a problem. It's all work, no reward. This is what the, the so-called white man have backed our women into that corner. And, and it's nothing that's going to brother um, Elder Malcolm up done a lesson today where he's. Um, his title was no one is going to be able to basically put the men and women back together except for the Lord. That shit is over with. Anybody that's getting basically into a relationship right now, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're you more than likely going to be kind of dealing with some chaos if you want to be in that shit. You got It's chaos. It's chaotic. It's out of order. And now what I'm starting to notice, notice is, is a lot of older women, they, 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 they know for a fact that hey, that shit or the beauty... Nobody is hollering at me no more. Nobody is running up on me talking about how beautiful you look. No one, even though they, they still got, they still look good for their age, but that age done caught up with them. And now it's like, they're not getting no hits. They're not getting no checks. Nobody is coming after them. Nobody is, is, is running up on them. You know, they don't have all those choices of men that was chasing them down when they was in their twenties, thirties, you know, even in the, to the point of their forties. Now they're realizing Okay, damn, you know what? Shh. Now they reaching back to try and get with a nigga that was trying to get on them 20 years ago. If that man is still, out, you know, he's out here and he's available for him too. Now they're reaching back. Now they're going, they didn't, they didn't want to get with that guy when they had, when they, you know, when they was at the top of their prime. They trying to get with this, this guy now that, she, you know, the coochie blown out. She's had, you know, multiple kids by other men. You see what I'm saying? So the whole game is changing, man. It is what it is, man. And, and the Lord um, done it that way. And matter of fact, when you go off into, let's get this one out. End out here, Yahweh Ratazah. Because I was looking at that shit like, man, golly, boy. And, 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 and the one chick, she was like, I don't want to be like my mother. I don't want to treat my husband like how my mother treated my father. She was all nice to him. Shitting on her mother, man. You know what I'm saying? Shitting on her father, basically. She doesn't want uh, to treat a man like she felt like she in her generation. She's looking at her mama like you a fool. But that was the situation that kept the family together, that kept food on the table and kept a roof over the head and kept clothing on her fucking back. Well, until she got to the point of her even talking the shit that she's talking right now. Right. But this is Isaiah four and one. And the title on this is um, the remnant prepared. And in that day. Seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be, be called by thy name to take away our reproach. And that's coming. It's going to be women out here that's just like it. Because guess what? It You got the incarceration rate is through the roof in, in America and throughout the world. We, we ain't just talking about America here. Well, we're just saying America and, and, you know, for example, niggas is all in jail. The, you got a, a nice percentage of niggas that's about the a, 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 B, C, D, e, F, G crew. They don't want no woman at all. They ain't trying to deal with you women like that. You know, and then you got this small percentage of niggas that'll fuck with you. But you still out here in the mirror. You got your phone up to your face, taking selfies all goddamn day long. You putting on your butterfly um, uh, uh, fucking eyelashes. You got them zigzags going across your head with your waves. Your 360 waves on your forehead, around your cheek, your temple and shit. 
you know, you got your nails done, you got your feet done, you shined all up, you're looking all good, and nobody is hollering at your ass all month long, two months long, three months long. You're never even getting a compliment. Now, ask yourself, when was the last time you actually got a compliment other than one of your homegirls or some simp on your Instagram or some shit? When was the last time you actually got a comment from a nigga that you seen in the store? They just walking all past you. They blowing all past you. They looking all past you because they understand that if I holler at her, she's going to be one mean Two, she's going to be on, you know, on some just just in general, just some bullshit. Three, you just looking crazy as hell like you're not approachable anyway. I mean, you got to really think this is what the world has set you. They've set you up on this pedestal to lose. You're losing as a one as women. And I seen the other brother down in Mississippi. He done a lesson on that. Women are losing, man. You're too goddamn masculine. <laughs> Niggas, real dudes don't want to deal with no masculine ass women, man. They, they know what that shit is. I no, man. We're we're living in the last days where everything is about to switch back. Though the Lord is about to take away, you know that that woman compassion a man and these wild badass kids that y'all got and a nigga got to deal with you and your three baby mamas. I mean your, your three baby daddies, so like you, four baby daddies. Your nigga dealing with you. Cause your little body is still straight, but your coochie is 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 a fucking tunnel, you know. And a nigga gotta deal with you with all these goddamn kids and your baby daddies, and not only the baby daddies, but those baby daddies' mamas, and those baby daddies' sisters and aunties and cousins. That shit. I mean, look, man, it's all work no reward. I'm telling you, yeah, you young Jake, man, be careful, man. Be careful, man. Straight up, just, I mean, you know, because, you know, Paul was even like, hey, look, man, Paul, hey, psh, like, hey, look, man, I, I ain't even dealing like that. If it, if you if you can't, don't deal like that. But if you get that itch, you know, go ahead and marry. There's nothing wrong with having a woman. There's nothing wrong with you women having a man, a man, you know what I'm saying? And you're supposed to only have one man, but you can't be tripping when a nigga had multiple women. That's the problem. A nigga want another woman, go ahead and let him deal. As long as he's treating you the way that the scripture says that he's supposed to treat you. You see? So I just wanted to just touch on that, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame, inshallah.